Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Je suis ravie d'être parmi vous aujourd'hui. Because today is a good day for scientists and their colleagues across the country. Before I celebrate our tremendous scientists, please allow me a moment to express my gratitude. Thank you to Dr. Mohammed Lashmi and everyone here at Ryerson for being such gracious hosts. And thank you, where's Wendy? <laughs> to Dr. Wendy Kusir for that generous introduction and to my colleague, uh, Member of Parliament, Julie DeBerson. And I would just like to highlight uh, the work also of Dr. Mario Pinto, a tremendous champion for science. It's good to be here as a scientist and as a minister. I want you to know I come from your world. I appreciate and am humbled by the opportunity to make a real difference in the way science is seen and supported in Canada. And I'm pleased to be part of a government that believes in science, believes good scientific knowledge should inform decision making, and understands that science is more important for our prosperity, health, environment, and quality of life than ever before. Which, of course, brings us to the reason why we're here today. Uh, let me start with some background. The National Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council oversees a program that helps apply the genius of our research community to real world industrial challenges. The strategic partnership grants focus on four areas, advanced manufacturing, environment and agriculture, information and communication technologies, and natural resources and energy. All the projects and networks we fund with these grants help create important economic, environmental, and social benefits across this great country of ours. Simply put, these strategic partnership grants are all about making the right connections. Connections between scientists, connections between scientists and engineers, and yes, connections among scientists, engineers, and the companies that harness their knowledge and put it into action. And that's why I'm pleased to announce today, we will support 74 projects and two networks through this program and an investment of $48 million in federal funding. And today, <laughs> and today we are celebrating one of those networks based right here at Ryerson University. And it's led by Dr. Bala Venkatesh. His network is called NSERC Energy Storage Technology Network, or NEST for short. And he will receive and his colleagues $5 million to continue working on innovative energy storage technologies. His team is looking at alternates to traditional energy systems, such as lithium ion batteries, compressed air energy storage, thermal storage, and even hybrid models of these. Basically, Dr. Venkatesh and his team of more than 25 researchers at 15 different universities are energizing the future. And we are proud to support this work. I feel very fortunate to have had time with you this morning, not just with the wonderful lab tours and seeing firsthand the exciting work that's being done here, but to actually have you tell me about your important work. 
and you've made it very clear. You look at real world problems and you develop solutions that you're hoping can be implement, implemented in three to five years. And you're, you also told me that energy storage, you hope, will transform energy systems in the next 25 years, or as you said, earlier. So when we talk about investing in science, we're talking about good work like yours. And this is just one example of the projects and networks we are funding in schools across the country. As fellow researchers, I bet you feel as passionate as I do about the science we've heard today. So Dr. Venkatesh, on behalf of the Government of Canada, I would like to again say my heartfelt congratulations. I look forward to hearing about your amazing ideas, insights, and solutions. And I want to finish by saying, I know Canadians appreciate your work that makes life better for all of us. Congratulations, merci et bonne journée à tous.